축구 What's up guys, welcome to another react video and today we're going to be trying to learn or walk you guys through how you can deploy a react application to your github pages, okay? But before we go any further, we are assuming that you have the create react app. If you don't have it, make sure you can run this command. This will allow you to, to run the create react app into your computer. So we're going to assume that you run it. That's going to take a second, of course. All right, guys, let's say we've got everything. You should be having something like this, or maybe your project might be looking, whatever your project might be looking, uh, but the bottom line is you should at least have a React application using the Create React app, okay? So once you have an application like this, we're gonna go ahead and open our terminal, wherever your project is, and it's a five-step process we're gonna walk you guys through, okay? The first thing that you need to do is we're gonna go ahead and do npm install a package that's called github pages and make sure that you guys are saving that as a dev dependency the first step is go ahead and install this package it's something called github pages all right guys once you finish installing this process based on some of you guys it might take you longer or it might not but the bottom line is you need to have this package in order for you to deploy your application to github pages all right the second step that you need to do is you need to head over to github and within GitHub, you're gonna go to this URL, GitHub slash new. What this is gonna allow you to do is, this is gonna allow you to create a new repository or aka new repo over your GitHub. I'm gonna call this one Deploy React. It doesn't matter what you name it, but the bottom line is you need a repo in order for you to be able to host your code and for this itself for, to work. All right, once you have this repo, this URL over here that you have, you're gonna go ahead and copy it over here, you're gonna copy this URL. Once you copy this URL back to your terminal, you're gonna run this command, git remote add origin, and right click and paste the URL that you copy, okay? Once again, the second step is very, very basic. You need to head out to GitHub slash new and create a repo. Once you have that, you're gonna copy this URL and add this repo over there all right, the third step that you need to do is head over your packet.json down here. Once you go over your packet.json, wherever next to the version, or it doesn't matter where it is, but the bottom line is it doesn't need to be inside a nested object. It needs to be right at the top level. And what we're gonna have down here is something that's called home page. Once we have the home page, we're gonna paste it a URL and the URL that we're going to paste it is going to be this URL. All right guys, this is going to be the URL. It's nothing fancy. There's two things that you need to keep in mind here. The first one, which is going to be your GitHub username, okay? This is going to be your GitHub username. If you don't know what your GitHub username, head over here, over your icon, and if we right click over there, you will be able to see your GitHub username right there. So you need your GitHub URL in this one in order to complete this. The second step is within this URL again, you need to make sure that you include the repo name, the repo, the one that you just created. In our case, we just created one called deploy react and bump we dump that in that and there we go we got this uh third step completed all right the fourth step it's a little bit complicated it's going to be inside your script wherever you have something called script inside of your script you're going to add a couple script okay there's two script we're going to be added the first one is something called pre-deploy which is going to have the value of npm run bill the second script is going to be something called deploy and we're gonna add it the value of GitHub pages that dash D build. All right, guys, we made it to the fourth step, which is you need to go over your script and under your script, you need to have a total of two scripts. The first one is something called pre-deploy and the, uh, the second one is something that called deploy. And once we have all these four steps so far, then the only thing that we need to do is within your terminal, the only thing we got remaining as the five or last step is going to be to run this command call npm run deploy. Oops, I think I messed up something guys. On the, on the third step, I did misspell this. It has to be home page. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the command again. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, if everything went as expected, we can go ahead and copy this URL 
and open a new tab and paste that URL in there. And we should be able to see our React application is deployed to GitHub pages. Now let's kind of review this step. I know a lot of you might have probably had it and some of you might not have had it, but let's kind of go ahead again and kind of review the step down here. I'm going to leave them as some comments for you guys to see them. All right, guys, here's the step. The first step that I said is you need to go ahead and install a package called npm install gh pages. This is the first step in order for you to process. And the second step was, or oh, you need to go ahead and create a repo, which means you go over GitHub slash new, and this will allow you to create a repo. And once you create the repo, you can technically, you go back to your terminal and you run this command to add to connect to your repo inside your terminal by doing git remote add ori uh, origin and the repo URL is going to be whatever URL is this is whatever new repo that you created is located. The third step that I talk about is add your home page URL. What I mean by this is you head over to your packet.json and you add this link into your packet.json and your key name has to be named home page otherwise it won't work and this is considered as your username and this is considered as your project name and the fourth step is inside a packet.json again over wherever you guys have the script you're gonna go ahead and add two new script the first one is something that's called uh, pre-deploy that's gonna have the value of npm run build and the second one is something called deploy that has the value of gh pages dash d build and the last step, of course, if you guys remember the last step over your terminal, you just run the command npm run deploy. And if everything went as expected, ladies and gentlemen, you should have uh, now a React application deployed to GitHub pages. But now you should at least have a React application deployed to GitHub pages. But you might be wondering, all right, what is GH pages is doing for you behind the scene. Well, here's what it is doing whenever you run this command called npm run deploy. Here's what it's going to be doing. It's going to go to your GitHub project, that the one you had, and going to take every single file that is inside your folder named Bill and publish it to GitHub pages and also create a branch for you called GH pages. This is exactly what that package is doing for you. It's sending every single files that is inside a Bill folder to your GitHub pages and deploy it automatically behind the scene. And ladies and gentlemen, this is everything that this package is doing for you behind the scene. However, if you have a React application with the React Router, there is a little bit difference for you to deploy to GitHub pages and we're gonna explore that in the next video.